Welcome back. I'm Marcus, your host here at Garmin's training video series. Bow hunters and archery enthusiasts are constantly looking for ways to hone their skills with the latest and greatest in technology advancements. When we introduced the Zero A1 and the A1i bow sights to the archery community, it was game changing. But crossbows are also a huge part of this community, and we want you to be part of a revolutionary advancement unlike anything else in this industry. And I have a special guest here, Brandon Brinkman, to tell us all about it. Let me introduce you to the long-awaited Zero X1i crossbow scope. Hey Brandon, thanks for being here today. Appreciate the time. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Garmin. So I am a marketing manager here at Garmin that focuses in primarily on our hunting and our dog products. Um, outside of that, I really enjoy archery hunting in general. So usually this time of year, I spend a lot of time up in the deer stand. Uh, springtime rolls around, I like to go turkey hunting. And actually this last fall, I went out on my first elk hunt ever. Awesome, excellent. So today you're here to talk to us about the Zero X1i. What exactly is it? So the X1i is a crossbow scope that has a multicolor configurable display built inside of it. And basically we took that and we combined it with a range finder. And what that allows you to do is at the click of a button, take a range and it drops a single aim point for you. Gotcha. Brandon, you mentioned range finder. So how far does this thing range out to? So Marcus, it'll actually range out to 250 yards on large game animals and all the way out to 500 yards on reflective objects. One really interesting feature we're able to build in with that type of range is what we call a laser locate. Um, essentially what that does is we're able to take both the distance and the heading off your last range mm -hmm. and project a waypoint to a multitude of uh, compatible Garmin devices. That's crazy. So why would you need the range out to 500 yards? So yeah, so there's really kind of two use cases that come to mind for laser locate that I'd like to talk about. So um, one of those, so say you're in the back country and you're across a, a goalie and you see a huge bull all the way up on the other side and you want to get to that bull, but you're not really sure exactly where he's at or how to get there. So you can shoot a range, figure out exactly where he is, and then send that down to your Phoenix device and you know start hiking over to that bull. Um, one you. other application that I'm really excited about is, so say you're up in a tree stand and you make a shot in an animal and you're trying to figure out exactly where he took off from there. So um, you're able to, to drop that range where you made that initial shot and get on the ground um, and get to exactly where that arrow could be at. Okay, so Brandon, tell us about the setup on this thing. Yeah, so Marcus, the team tried really hard to make it as easy as possible to get this thing set up all gotcha. the way through the development process. So. Most times people can get through the setup process in as little as 15 minutes and be ready to be shooting all the way out to 80 yards. Um, at its core, there's really two main steps. You need to set up a 20 yard pin, mm -hmm. and then from there you go through and you enter in your bow speed. Okay. And from those two spots, you're, you're basically ready to go all the way out to 80. Awesome, so setup is super simple. Yep. Okay, can you share some of the key features? Number one would be the fact that we've got this colorful, very configurable display in there. Mm -hmm. So with the multi-colors, you can go through and pick out one that fits really well for your visibility and like what colors you can pick up on really well. Um, the other piece is the configurability of that. So there's a lot of little widgets. So you can make it as complex as you want with levels on every side, or you can make it as simple as you want. You can make it, I, I literally push the button, it takes a range and it gives me an aim point. Uh, one other feature within that configurability I want to talk to is this concept of steady aim. Okay. So it's one kind of really neat feature that came out through development and essentially what that does is while you're setting in on the target, what you'll see is a broken circle around your aim point. Mm -hmm. And as the shooter really settles in and gets ready to take that shot, that broken circle completely disappears and becomes the aim point and you're, you're really ready to go at that point. That's when you're dialed in. That's when you're dialed in and, and ready to roll. So I, I think the third key point I wanted to hit on with you quick um, is this concept of multiple bolt profiles. Okay. So one application in hunting is you'll often use multiple arrows. So it could be, a, you know, you change out a tip, you go from a, a fixed practice tip to a broadhead and those fly different, mm -hmm. right? They fly at different speeds. So what those multiple bolt profiles allow you to do is go in and set up specific profiles for each one of those setups. So um, you can practice all day long with your field tips and then you're ready to go put on your broadheads, change your bolt profile and, and head out the door. Folks, you've never seen a crossbow scope like this before. You can range game targets up to 250 yards away and use digital aim points that are automatically calibrated to your crossbow setup. You only need one shot with the Zero X1i. Hey, thanks for taking the time to learn more about the Garmin X1i crossbow scope. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you wanna see similar videos in the future, smash that subscribe button and make sure to turn that notification bell on. For now, that's all I've got. 
This is Marcus and Brandon from Garmin, wishing you all the best. And in all that you do, we want to help you beat yesterday.